As a hand paper maker, you might have heard something about pulp freeness or freeness testing. These are two machines that are used in commercial paper making labs for testing the freeness of pulp. This one is called a Shopper Riegler freeness tester, and this one is a Canadian Standard freeness tester or a CSF tester. The CSF tester would normally be mounted on a wall. I have it on a cart here, and the floor is not level, so you can see the tester is not plumb either. The Shopper Riegler tester, or an SR tester, would normally be placed on a workbench, and it has leveling feet on it, uh, a bubble level, so you can adjust it to be plumb. These two testers are actually very similar in operation, even though they look somewhat different. Each tester has an upper chamber with a screen on the bottom, which will be loaded with one liter of pulp and three grams of dry fiber. I can dub this anyway. The CSF tester has a similar chamber, again with a screen on the bottom, and it holds one liter of pulp. In this tester, the one liter of pulp fills it brimful. The lower part of each tester contains a cone-shaped funnel with a splash diverter so that water doesn't fall straight down the center of the funnel. And although the funnels are different sizes, they are similarly constructed. We have general funnel shape, there's a small hole in the bottom, and there's a large side pipe. If you look inside, you can see the side pipe. This pipe is a vent. When you release the pulp from the upper chamber through the screen, the water runs down into the funnel, and a small amount can trickle out the bottom, but if the flow rate is high enough, water will come out the side. And the test consists of measuring how much water comes out the side. And here's the funnel of the CSF tester, and again, funnel with side pipe. There's a small hole in the bottom and a large side pipe to take the extra liquid, the fast draining liquid. The big difference between these testers, other than minor things like the screen texture being different, is the manner in which the pulp is released. In the SR tester, there is a plunger with a gasket. This plunger is lowered and it latches in place, sealing the bottom of the tub. You then put the pulp in and release this lever and a weight in this back tube pulls the plunger up at a fairly controlled speed. Then the water can drain through the screen. In the CSF tester, The water is held in the tank by suction. The top of the chamber is sealed, and then the bottom trap door is open, and the pulp stays in there because no air can get in the tank. When it's, ready, when it's time to do the test, this little valve is opened, air can come in the top, and the water can come out the bottom. Because of this large free space, the funnel doesn't need a vent. Now I'm going to show how each tester works using just water for now. Now water, of course, there's no pulp in here, so it should give, it should act like a very free pulp that's very fast draining. We have a graduated cylinder with one liter of water. I have this bottom trap door closed. And I pour the pulp in. Well, in this case, water. And I close the upper door and make sure the air valve is closed. And then when I open the bottom door, there's just a little bit of water drips out. I just wait for that to drip out of the funnel. Put the graduated cylinder under the side vent, and when I'm ready to test, I open the upper valve. And you saw how quickly the pulp drained through there, and most of the water ended up in here. I have 900 milliliters of water. So this would be recorded, but where a pulp would be recorded as a CSF of 900. For a CSF, you report the milliliters of water you got out of the side there. On the SR tester, 
you lower the plunger to make it seal until the latch catches. You pour the water, the pulp, into the upper chamber. I'll move this cup to catch the See, there's a bit of leakage here. And push this in with the things. Once water stops coming up the side pipe, it's complete. And in this case, I have 950 milliliters. Now, in the case of the SR tester, you don't report the number of milliliters of water collected off the side, you take that number, you divide it by 10, and you subtract it from 100. So in this case, that would be 950 divided by 10, which is 95. You subtract that for 100, from 100, and you get a result of 5. So this would have an SR freeness, of, an SR freeness called 5 degrees. It's called degrees of freeness. Now I have one liter of water here with two grams of fiber in it, and it's been mixed in this cylinder. So that is a 0.2% pulp, which is what's supposed to be used with the ESR tester. So once again, I push the piston down until the latch latches. I pour the pulp in, trying to trying not to let it swirl in the tank. We'll check no pulp left in there. And the pulp has stopped swirling, so I do Push the lever down and the pump. And the water stopped coming up the side pipe. So now I have 870 milliliters. And you divide that by 10, giving 87, which means an SR degree of 13. And here, for the CSF tester, I have one liter of water with three grams of pulp in it, which is what is required for this test. So, close the bottom trap door. The pulp has been mixed, and I pour it in, again, trying to avoid swirling and splashing. Close the top door, close the air vent. Open the bottom door. Put the measuring cylinder in place and open the air vent. In this case, we're meeting 700, so that would be reported as a CSF of 700 milliliters.